Standard steel shape is strengthened by addition of two cover plates on the top and on the bottom. The thickness of those plates is 10 millimeter and the width of them is 200 millimeter and they are welded on the sides to the flange of that steel shape. As we can see, there are four welds on the sides. We know that the maximum allowable T shear capacity of the weld is 400 km per meter. We want to see how much is the maximum shear force that can be applied to this section. So here we don't have bolts. We do have weld. But we can follow the same procedure as we did before. So let me start with determining the section properties because um, we can determine how much is the properties of that section. We go to the table, look for W250 by 80 steel shape, and we read these numbers. Moment of inertia about the x-axis would be 126 million, and the height of that section is 257 millimeter. Now, we need to calculate the moment of inertia for the entire section. And that would be very easy, because I just plug the values of I, about centroid of that steel shape and area d squared would be zero because the centroid is located at the centroid of the entire section so the second term would be zero for the plate on the top the width of that is 200 the height of that is 10 so that would be 210 cubed over 12 plus its area times distance of its centroid to the centroid of the entire section which is 257 over 2 plus 10 over 2. if i plug that i will get moment of inertia for the whole section equal to this, 197. And we can calculate friction modulus as requested, but we don't need to use that for determining the uh, shear flow in the beams. To determine the shear flow, we need to see what part of this section is attached to the rest of the section. And here would be that top plate. So we calculate Q for that top plate of that section. Shear flow would be VQ over I. The big Q is area times distance, area of that plate, which is 200 by 10. And distance would be this one. And the moment of area would be 267,000 millimeter cubed. We have determined Q, we have determined I, and we are looking for V. Let me first write it down here numerically. So V times Q over I would be equal to V divided by 737.8. Now listen carefully to this part. How can I determine the value of that shear force? How can I write down the design equation? Here, we don't have any V pen. We don't have any spacing between the bolts. So how can I write it down? Look at this segment. Balancing force in the unit length, which is known as Q, is calculated and in this shape it should be transferred by two welds on the sides so I can write down the design equation like that Q which I calculated in the previous step should be smaller than allowable Q of that weld but because we have two welds on the side I'm gonna multiply that by two and this is 400 kN over meter or 800 newton over millimeter multi after multiplying that by 2 and then I can solve that for V and that gives me V equal to this value.